Hello people, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Cynthia's Charm Tarot and I hope you are all enjoying November. We are almost in the end of November, almost done with the middle of November, the half of November and now today I am going to do the reading on the career guidance since many of my subscribers commented me they texted me even on Instagram that I should do you know something related to career guidance because many of you are dealing with career crisis in your life at some point or you want guidance in your life on career okay so Cynthia's Charmed Tarot is always here to help you whether it's your career life, whether it's your love life, or whether it's your spiritual life. So I'm always here to guide you guys, okay? So today I have these three piles in front of you, okay? And I have the beautiful stars to guide you. And this is gonna be the first pile. This is gonna be the second pile. And this is gonna be the third pile, right guys? For the first pile, I have this tiger star over here, tiger eye star over here. Okay, this is going to be the first pile. The second pile is represented by the lilac star over here, this light purplish color over here. And the third pile is represented by this beautiful royal blue color of the star here okay guys so pile number one pile number two and pile number three this is the career guidance for you all okay right now what messages do you want to hear in your career so that my career guidance for you I hope you have chosen by now Okay, and let us begin with the first pile or for the people who chose this beautiful tiger's eye quartz. Mm. So whosoever who chose this first pile, let us see what the reading is here for you. This is going to be the ultimate career guidance and I hope you benefit from it. You benefit on your career situation, right? King of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Magician card. And from the bottom of deck, uh, I have the Ten of Swords. Okay. I hope the deck is very, very clear to you by now. Right. Let me arrange them so that they catch your eyes and you get every message. Right guys, so the reading is so clear for you and the reading says here that You need to manifest your destiny. You are right now manifesting your destiny over here. In your career path guidance, the desires that you have for yourself, the destiny that you have for yourself, you need to carve it out right now. 
This card is telling me here to manifest your desires, to create your destiny, your own destiny over here, right? And with the okay, and with the ten of wands over here, what is seeming to me from the reading from the cards that have unfolded is that you are. You need to manifest your destiny. You need to manifest your inner desire regarding to your career right now. And with the Ten of Wands over here, you definitely need to take the responsibility on. There is a lot of responsibilities on your shoulder and you definitely have to take the lead on. But you should take rest while your work is over, okay? You also need to take a rest when you are done with your work. But at the same time, you need to work towards creating your own destiny and creating and manifesting your desires, innermost desires related to your career. With the King of Pentacles, I can see your father, since the King of Pentacles represents fatherhood and the fatherly figure over here, I definitely want to say that some of you maybe are getting pressurized by their father in career. Or maybe your father is pressurizing you uh, somehow in your career field he is forcing you to choose a certain career over here as i can sense over here and also with the king of pentacles you are very loved loved soul over here you you love to take care of your family their needs are important to you that is why you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders over here i can see from the card ten of wands but my career guidance for you people is definitely to love your family but at the same time take out time for rest also okay you should rest when you are done with your work you should manifest your desires the other thing that i am seeing for you pile number one is this moving on card the six of swords is guiding you hear that you need to move on you need to the plans the destiny that you have thought of yourself the uh, the thing that you want to create your desires please take a stand move on okay you definitely need to believe that if you move on things will be better for you you need to because there is a safe harbor seen at in the horizon. There is a safe harbor seen in the horizon. If you move on, if you have faith, okay, you should. Uh, there is a smooth sail for you guys. If Okay, if you move on, if you take the responsibility. With the Ace of Cups, I see love overflowing over here. Okay, this is a card for new beginnings, new opportunities something new in love engagement proposal weddings engagements but this is not love reading mind you this is a career reading so i would say if you move on if you you know come out of your comfort zone definitely there is something good awaiting you with the four of swords card over here i can sense that guys uh you need to introspect you need to Think clearly first. You need to meditate and think clearly and see which action you should take in your life. Whether you should accept the new opportunity or not. You should plan out in advance. You should take rest and you should think before acting. You should consider both the pros and cons of the situation, okay? You definitely need to introspect and think and meditate on your career situation right now uh, for some of you you may have surrendered to your current career situation so i would say that with the star card over here you definitely have a lot of uh, you know you need to revive that lost hope in yourself this is an inspiration card if you follow your dreams if you start manifesting your destiny your desired destiny uh, you will get the hold of this new opportunity which is awaiting you career-wise. So you just need to believe in yourself again 
and you need to you know with a star card have hope in yourself have hope in your dreams don't surrender to your current situation because i can see some of you are just sleeping just surrender just resting so you need to avoid this energy over here and start believing more in yourself in your dreams and with the seven of wands card definitely you need to be defensive you need to take a stand defend what you you know you should take a stand for what you believe in you should maintain control and definitely the thing that you are thinking and the thing that is on your mind you need to take a stand you need to tell your parents about the career you want to choose okay you need to ask for help at least and i from the bottom of deck 10 of swords is seen here so definitely i can sense here that many of you feel defeated over here there is loss of hope from your side you need to overcome this energy over here and you need to start believing all over again in yourself okay believe in yourself believe in your destiny manifest day and night for your dreams to come true and they will definitely come true because i can see you are a nice soul you are an angel child over here definitely you take a lot of care of your family and you're all always be nice to others as i can sense here but the time is demanding your career is demanding from you to have hope in your dreams believe in your dreams okay dreams do happen dreams do come true and with the four of swords over here you need to come out of your comfort zone and you need to take your own stand maintain your own stand in front in front of your father in front of your family okay if you are feeling burdened by your career you need to talk out don't uh, just keep on thinking it in the head that it's all over now it's all over now vibe is very strong quite strong over here can you see the person lies surrendered here the person lies defeated over here uh, with having said this i also see the star card in your reading which means that you have hope there is still hope for you on the cards right you can shine like a star if you manifest your destiny if you believe in yourself if you go out and create if you move out of your comfort zone guys so this was all about pile number 1 the people who chose tigers i star do comment me if this reading resonated with you and you can follow me on instagram and also comment me and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos bye bye for now hello pile number 2 the people who chose this beautiful lilac purplish star over here let's do the career reading for you pile number 2 the candle is flickering a lot i don't know if this has any connection with your i don't know if it has any connection with your you know career here so the cards that i have for you is eight of swords nine of swords nine of wands seven of swords ace of pentacles seven of sorry five of swords the two of wands the devil and the four of wands the candle is stable now but before it was flickering a lot i don't know if you are flickering two in your career so god knows let me cleanse the energies of the previous deck so yes guys the candle is stable now as you can see right guys so what i am sensing regarding your career is that and the guidance of mine is that you need to make plans or you maybe have already achieved something big in your career and if not then you need to make plans you are very ambitious here maybe you have two options to choose from in your career right now this is also this is also i'm hearing here and i'm seeing here that you have two choices in your career and you're very ambitious and my guidance for you is to make plans start making plans for your future career with the devil card over here 
you are addicted to something in your career you are obsessive about something in your career maybe uh, one option regarding your career is related to your uh, your obsession maybe you want to there you are faced with two choices the first choice is to uh, make your obsession as career and the second choice is to really practically think and make that as your career um sensing here uh, okay, you are addicted to something, you have a great obsession in your regarding your career. So this only you can know what I'm talking about because you are the better judge of yourself. Then I have the purple stone, I have the five of swords over here. By the way, this is onyx crystal, this is kept here to purify the energy, so don't confuse it that I'm reading for someone, somebody else. This is another crystal, your crystal is kept here right beneath the candle, okay? And the five of swords card over here, definitely you are obsessed with something in your career. You have addiction, some sort of addiction in your career, you are doing wrong, you know you are doing it wrong, but you shouldn't be doing something that you are doing and you know it in the heart of your heart okay you are receiving some somebody and you are getting to see the candle flickering a lot are you seeing so there's something with the wrong with you pile number two i don't know don't get offended but see again it calm down yes so pile number two okay with the five of swords card over here you definitely deceiving someone in career and you want to get ahead of that person you are winning your game by deceiving you are winning the game by deceiving you have attained this victory in your career that you already have established by way of trickery treachery or deceiving others cheating others or maybe you it can be vice versa also or maybe this thing happened with you okay you are addicted to have some career and whosoever comes between you and your obsession or your obsessive career that the career that is your obsession whosoever comes in between that you deceive them you know you believe this that you know you have to do this without caring about the other person involved in you are i would say here to release your limitations over here with the devil card here release your limitations over here and the ace of pentacles is about more money baby you need more money you are definitely a person who wants to make money fast like this in a nick of time you want to make money the ace of pentacles you want more money and you are obsessed about money in your career aren't you obsessed do comment me down and tell me how's your obsession and how you are dealing with that in your career You're very obsessed with about creating your own empire your own business this is your obsession to create your own empire to create your own new business over here and to you it doesn't matter if you hurt someone in your past if you deceive others cheat others and then get ahead on that path if you remove others from the path uh, you want money you want great amount of money you are um, you know money child you want more and more and more money and with the seven of swords over here hmm this card is telling me over here that you you know what can I say about you you need to move out you need to uh, move out and you need to let go of this obsession let go of this addiction uh, regarding your career I'm saying and you need to stop hiding your feelings also you need to move out of your comfort zone and you need to stop and avoid stealing others and don't steal if you are stealing don't thief if you are thieving okay you are doing something in hidden something secret 
something addictive something which is very you are obsessed about and with the seven of swords i'm sensing here guys that you are definitely into some sort of job something criminal can be involved here something related to stealing something related to thieving it can be there or maybe you are hiding uh, your feelings regarding your career you are not close uh, opening this obsession of yours related to your career to others in your life and with the nine of wands over here uh, please look at your back also have your back also look at your back who is stabbing you in the back you may be you are cheated on by someone for some of you you are cheated on and this card is a warning sign to look in your office to look at your workplace if someone is playing mind games with you if someone is you know uh, stabbing you in the back and because of the cheating that they have done to you you are spending sleepless nights i'm also sensing for some of you you have spent a lot of time in hospitals you need a rehab now okay uh, you are dealing with some sort of connection with hospital where maybe you may be visiting your relative again and again to hospital mm, this is also meaning because of your illness you are not able to carry on with your career positively okay release this energy over here and with the eight of swords over here mm, definitely it's all in the head I can sense you yourself has created your problems in your career. It's all in the head, baby. It's all in the head, baby. You need to think the think about the things and consider the things that are causing you harm. Okay, pure your intuition and just refresh your thoughts over here and stay consistent because I have the four of wands card over here. Uh, this is a card for home returning for celebration. Maybe you have that on the cards I don't know why but homecoming home calling is there on the cards Right, so this was my reading for the people who chose pile number two the purple or lilac star over here I hope you liked my reading and you got your career guidance over here Which is to make plans take action Okay and bye-bye uh, hello pile number three the people who chose this beautiful royal blue star over here right today i'm going to do pile number three your career reading over here this was in high demand from my um clients who follow me on instagram they have commented me there you can also follow me on instagram cynthia's charm tarot and tell me which career reading you or whichever reading that you want to see on youtube make me do on youtube i will definitely make that reading for you pile number three or the people who chose this blue stone over here right now let's continue with your reading over here guys you can subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos in the future. So the career guidance that I have for you is three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, six of wands, eight of cups, six of pentacles, lot of pentacles, earth energy, two of cups, okay, two of cups. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is here and the Page of Swords is here and from the bottom of deck we had the Death card, right? So people, pile number three, those ever who choose the pile number three, the vibes that I'm getting of yours is, you know, definitely you know what the truth is in your career. You know what the truth is. You definitely know or uh, what your truth is the page of swords the motto of this card is knowing the truth you know the truth or maybe you are on such a point of your life where you want to seek the truth you are the seeker definitely you are the seeker the seeker of light the seeker of truth in your life you want uh, something is unseen in your career and you want the truth to come out 
despite of the fact that you very much know what the truth is relating to your career but you still want the truth to come out and because of that you have some sort of moved on changed your career i can see some of you already have changed their career changed their career yes because you want to find the truth in your life and you are the seeker of truth as i can sense here pile number two royal blue star um also sensing here that you definitely you are you are having great financial constraints relating to your career you need help don't be shy for it because i can see already in your career you have already set out to ask for help you need help and your career guidance is all about giving and receiving it works both hands see give and receive a uh, partnership is on the card here for you collaboration is on the cards here for you okay despite of the fact that you are so nurturing caring and you take care of your family as a mother but you need even if you need help in your career do ask for help and if you have enough wealth this is for some of you if you have enough of the wealth okay if you have already tasted success you have got enough of the shares inheritance and wealth and you need to share your wealth do charity right in regards with your career uh, some of you who are having this you know uh, what we say uh financial constraints over here some sort of money problems you because of your career okay you are witnessing that you are going so much after the truth or maybe you are spending you are just laxing around and lazing around and wasting your time because of that fact you have money problems now in your life but the collaboration is on the cards for you in career this is relating to some sort of skill development some sort of uh, you know partnership acquaintance working learning somewhere uh, business partnership with someone collaborating with someone is seen if you collaborate with someone okay if you uh, engage in a partnership with someone definitely that is going to bring about a lot of success for you a lot of money for you i have so much Uh, something something about money i don't know you need to you have to comment me and tell me the problem that is in your life regarding to money or how the money is playing part important part in your life so if you collaborate with this person who can also turn out to be a potential soulmate or partner husband or wife uh, victory seen here success is seen here maybe you get a reward from public a gift uh, you definitely going to get the gift or your business is going to flourish if you <clears throat> stop stop you know over analyzing things in your mind definitely truth is important in every aspect of human life but you are overdoing it you you know you need to collaborate with others you need to take classes learn the craft learn your skills you no know, take skill development classes over here okay collaborate with people and i can see something ending over here it's all it's going to be all over baby it's going to be the start of a new cycle over here new beginning for her completion here so it's going to end you definitely need to end something in your life okay you are seeking something in your career you are seeking the truth but the self care card is also here you need to take self care of yourself okay take time to rest when you can and uh, i hope my career guidance for you is very very clear the royal blue stone okay uh you need to collaborate definitely collaborate with people share your ideas okay just don't be too defensive about what you think you definitely need to go and network out and share what you think about your career about your life and share your feelings with your mother especially the guidance over here the queen mother the earth mother share your feelings with your mother over here everything related to career okay overall it's a good reading because i can see success and victory coming to you public reward coming to you you getting noticing in the eyes of public so bye bye for now do subscribe my channel like comment share and follow me on instagram you can suggest me reading over there and i will definitely make on youtube okay bye bye for now see ya